The 2019 Super Formula season is about to begin with round one from Suzuka Circuits. So the race is ready to get underway. Uh, Makino's the pole sitter for this race. Uh, he gets off to a good lead, but so does Yamamoto from behind Makino. Uh, and Yamamoto's trying to get around Makino. Uh, at least he, uh, Yamamoto jumped up from third, from P3, all the way to, uh, not all the way, but to uh, up into P2, past Alex Palo. And uh, Yuhi Sekiguchi is also trying to get past Salo, uh, Palo in the race. Uh, Paolo is able to defend him off a little bit. So we're on the second lap now, and Paolo uses his OTS and to try to get past Yamamoto, and he's successful to do that. So right now, at the, uh, here's the replay of the race again, the start. Uh, Sekiguchi jumps up all the way from fifth place, uh, and uh, has a really good start trying to get up into uh, past Paolo. So we're on lap number three right now. It's uh, Sekiguchi battling out with Yamamoto, and he's successful, able to get past uh, Yamamoto. So we're in the Shikane coming back through on lap number three now. Uh, we've got Sekiguchi followed by Yamamoto and uh, Sekiguchi's teammate, Yo Hirakawa's, uh, trying to get past uh, Yamamoto as well using his OTS. So we're on the fourth lap of the race right now. Uh, we've got Makino in first, Paolo in second, Sekiguchi third. Uh, on the seventh lap of the race is uh, Nick Cassidy. He's the first one of the drivers to uh, uh, come, come into the pits. We'll see how this, uh, his strategy plays off for the rest of the race and whether his tires hold up as well. Uh, Cassidy's coming up uh, on lap number nine. Who is this? We got a, one of the drivers uh, that crashed into a barrier. And it looks like there's another car up at, uh, on the other, just up in front as well. Uh, uh, in the safety car, it's uh, Tristan Chapinier that uh, had cra crashed into the barrier. And so we join the, the action again. It's uh, race number 10. This is Dan Tictum in the, in, the, uh, in the pits having a tire change. Okay, so this is Yamamoto coming back out onto the, okay. Uh, we're on lap number 10. It's uh, Kamui Kobayashi in first place, uh, right behind the safety car. We got Kunimoto in second, Paolo in third. Oh no, we got uh, Yuhi Sekiguchi, uh, who had to retire from the race because of the gear problems. And so now uh, his teammate, uh, Ryo Hirokawa, just uh, had to drop out of the race a, a few laps ago as well. So right now we're back on the action, into the action. And uh, it's Kamui in first, uh, followed by Kunimoto and Paolo in third. And uh, Kunimoto is not that far behind Paolo, but it looks Paolo's built up enough lead to be able to uh, keep it up. But uh, Nick Cassidy, who started the race in third, is currently in fifth. Uh, his tire change looks like it was, uh, was a very good strategy for the race. So on lap number 12, uh, we got Kubash in first, we got Paolo in second, and Cassidy is now in third. Cassidy was able to get all the way up from 12th to 3rd. Uh, we've got Yamamoto using his OTS, his uh, overtake system on lap, lap number 13. Ah, oh, we got another driver that's in the gravel. Uh, it's Cassidy's teammate, uh, Kazuki Nakajima, uh, the 2018-24 hour at Le Mans uh, winner. Uh, Kazuki can't get his car back out on the track, so his day's over. And just in front of him is uh, car number 51, that's a uh, rookie uh, from the B-Max racing team, Harrison Nui. Uh, this looks like it's almost a repeat of what happened yesterday in the uh, in the qualifying. Okay, so as we see the safety cars back out on the track again, uh, Kazuki's getting out of his car, uh, walking off the track. And so we rejoin the, the action again uh, on lap number 17. It's uh, Kobayashi in first place, and Paolo's doing his best trying to get past uh, Kamui, but Kamui is able to fight him off as well. You know, the former F1 driver is just not that easy to get past Kamui as everybody thinks. 
Uh -huh. Ah, looks like Paolo's car is starting to slow down. Ah, is he having gear problems or something? Ah, uh, yeah, he's got some type of co uh, problems here. Oh no. Ah, uh, Nakajima Racing. Ah, uh, they lose their their young rookie, Alex Paolo, uh, as he pulls off to the side of the the track. So we got the safety car back out on again, ba back out on the, uh, the track again. On lap number 20, we, uh, we got the safety car out. Uh, it's uh, Kamui who's in first. And he's followed by Nick Cassidy. Ah, uh, uh, this is uh, Tsugio, Tsugio Matsuda, the uh, new team director for uh, KCMG uh, this season. So we rejoin the action on lap number 22. Uh, Kamui still hasn't came in for a, for a tire change yet. We got him followed by Cassidy in second and uh, Naoki Yamamoto in third. Uh, Makino right now is in fourth place. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, we got uh, Kenta Yamashita who's in fifth right now. He's trying to get past Makino and Makino's defending uh, as best as he can, but Makinu goes off track and he crashes into the barrier. This is going to bring out the safety car again. And uh, Nakajima Racing, they had a one-two start. Makinu was in first, uh, was the pole sitter for this race, and Alex Paolo was in second. Paolo ended up having problems with his car, and uh, Makinu, as you could see, his tire had came off after hitting the barrier. Uh, we're in lap number 28 right now. And uh, Kamui's still out on the track. He hasn't changed tires yet. Uh, this Kamui, uh, 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 his team just pulled a dummy. They're not going to come into the pit yet. And this is the scene of uh, Satoru Nakajima uh, watching on. And this is other rookie driver, Makino. Uh, the pole sitter is has to retire from the race because he ran into the wall. So. Right now on lap number 32, it's Kamui in first, who still hasn't changed tires. And so basically what that means is uh, Nick Cassidy is, is the real leader of the race uh, because Kamui do doesn't have enough uh, lead over Nick to, to be able to come out up. So final lap of the race, we got Kamui into the pit changing tires. Uh, we'll, we'll see how many uh, spots he loses. He was in first place running in the race, most of it uh, in the first place. Uh, on the final lap is Nick Cassidy. Came, he's jumped up all the way from 12th place. Uh, he's on the way to his first victory for the 2019 season. So it's Nick. Uh, he's built up enough of a lead to uh, not have to worry about uh, Yamamoto breathing down his neck. And here we are, it's Nick Cassidy. He's won the first race of the 2019 Super Formula season, followed by Yamamoto in second, and just right behind uh, Yamamoto, it's uh, Kenta Yamashita, Nojiri in, in fourth, Oshima fifth, uh, Shotsuboy in sixth, Kunimoto seventh, uh, and Lucas Auer in fifth, uh, I'm sorry, in eighth place, uh, and Dan Tictum in, in ninth. So this is uh, Nick Cassidy's first win of the of the season, and even his teammate uh, uh, Kazuki Nakajima, who was looking on, looks happy for him. So Nick is just came in, and he's he's sharing his happiness with everybody. Uh, so Nick Cassidy's won the 2019 first uh, race of the se of the Super Formula season. Did you believe it? Ah, oh, man, anything is possible in Super Formula. Uh, you have to keep pushing. As uh, Tachi t says every morning, flat out. So we have to, to go for it. This weekend has been really tough for us because I think that we've been one of the strongest in all testing. And uh, this weekend, we've lost some performance, uh, something strange. So I think in the next round, we can come back for speed. And uh, this weekend, we got the perfect points. So a great start. Congratulations.